Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we'll be answering the question, how does a plane stay in flight? Being able to fly to other parts of the world for business and pleasure has completely revolutionised our way of life. But when you're sitting there scoffing down your in-flight meal, do you ever wonder how it is that the huge metal tube you're sitting in manages to stay up in the air? There are two things the plane needs. Thrust to push it along and lift to hold it up. The thrust comes from the engines and the lift comes from the wings. If you look at the cross-section of a plane wing, you can see that they're a curved, smooth shape and even mid-flight they're tipped slightly upwards at the front. Lift is created both on the top and bottom surfaces of the wing. Let's take a look at the underside first. As the air rushes towards the wing, it has to pass underneath it in order to get past, so the airflow is deflected downwards. Because of Newton's third law, that every force has an equal and opposite reaction force, the force that the air experiences, pushing it down, has a corresponding force that pushes the wing up. This is lift. So that's how lift is created on the underside of the wing. Now let's look at the top side, where it's a bit more complicated. The air is once again deflected downwards, but this time by something called the Coanda effect. If air rushes past the top surface of the wing, it'll drag along the stationary air just below it, creating a tiny vacuum between the airstream and the wing surface. This pulls the airstream towards the wing, and once again because of Newton's third law, pulls the wing upwards towards the airstream. This happens all the way down the surface of the wing, creating lift, until the airstream detaches at the edge of the wing. If the wing is at too high an angle, though, the air can detach further up, and the vacuum created can pull in air from the back, creating a vortex. This is known as a stall, and it creates a lot of drag and reduces the lift, which can in fact cause the plane to crash. If the engines stop working, the thrust pushing the plane forwards will decrease, and the plane will start to slow down. Luckily, as long as it doesn't stop dead, it won't just immediately lose lift and plummet out of the sky. The wings will still provide lift, allowing the plane to glide, allowing the pilot to make a safe landing. If you want to see the Coanda effect at home, just hold a piece of paper up to your mouth and blow over the top surface. The paper should move upwards as the air sticks to the surface and lifts it up. So you being able to jet off on your summer holidays is all down to thrust and lift. That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye!